Major Hurricane Hillary has strengthened rapidly uh, over the uh, previous hours. Yesterday was only a 50 mile per hour tropical storm and now a high end category 3 with, uh, with winds of 125 miles per hour based on the latest analysis of the National Hurricane Center. Position at 16.7 degrees north, 110 degrees west, representing a high threat for the Baja California Peninsula right now. As I mentioned before, Hillary has sustained winds of 125 miles per hour with a pressure of 952 millibars moving to the west northwest at 14 miles per hour. That's on latest at 20 hours local time in Baja California Sur State, as well in San Diego in the United States. Three hours UTC on August the 17th on the UTC on the Universal Time, August the 16th local time. The tropical storm force winds extending up to 240 nautical miles to the northeastern quadrant, 200 nautical miles to the southeastern quadrant, 120 to the uh, southwestern quadrant, and 150 to the south uh, to the northwestern quadrant. And uh, the cyclone is located approximately at 259 kilometers to the south southeast of Socorro Island, a small island where about 50 people are living there right now. Uh, 600 kilometers to the southeast southeast of Manzanillo in Colima, 704 kilometers to the south of Cabo San Lucas in Baja California Sur, as well La Paz, 834 kilometers to the south, Lázaro Cárdenas, 1,660 kilometers to the southeast is in Baja California, and San Diego in the United States, 1,925 kilometers to the southeast. The distances are also relatively close to Ensenada and Tijuana in Baja California as well. The current watches and warnings in effect for this hurricane are next. A hurricane watch in effect for Baja California Sur from north of Punta Abreojos to Punta Eugenia. Tropical storm warning in effect for Baja California Sur which includes Cabo San Lazaro southward and Los Barriles southward as well. And a tropical storm watch in effect for Baja California Sur, including north of Cabo San Lazaro to Punta Abreojos and north of Los Barriles to Bahia San Juan Bautista. And this is the track forecast of a National Hurricane Center about the possible uh, track that this system will uh, well will have on the next days maintaining major major hurricane status at least for the next 36 hours before starting to weakening dramatically possibly making level as a hurricane in the border of both states of Baja California Peninsula and then making a second landfall possibly in Ensenada in Baja California as a tropical storm and possibly uh, going over San Diego as a tropical storm, fully tropical still, before dissipating quickly by, by this weekend or possibly on the, in the morning of Monday. The sea surface temperatures absolutely warm, 29 uh, Celsius, which is perfect for Hillary to maintain and also to intensify further as it's currently doing so. And the GFS model forecast, this is about the projection of this system uh, practically intensifying over the next uh, day, possibly attaining its peak intensity uh, by this hour of tomorrow and then uh, starting to weaken as it moves to more cooler waters and drier conditions as well as it uh, makes landfall in Baja California Peninsula bringing so much needed rain to both states including also to the California state but uh, the threat of landfalls uh, sorry the threat of landslides and uh, flooding are also uh, pretty likely so please take all the precautions by your local authorities the models practically well this is a little bit outdated uh, model prediction but uh, practically the models are agreed that this system uh, it's going to be a, a significant hurricane, well already it is, but even more, possibly attaining a high end cat force status as uh, by tomorrow possibly 150 or 155 miles per hour, so it's going to be a really powerful hurricane uh, tomorrow. 
and the wind shear remaining really low so there's the main reason of why Hillary is uh, intensifying as well the atmospheric conditions are absolutely perfect for this storm to keep intensifying this is the sea surface temperatures will start to drop dramatically by tomorrow so Hillary will not have uh, much time left to intensify before it starts to weaken and then the humidity drier air conditions are going to occur over the next days as it moves to the north as well this is the presentation of Hillary moving really looking really good moving to the west northwest the eye clearing up and looking incredibly incredibly big as well it's a white system looking good and of course intense as well uh, you can see those floaters and imagery on our website force13.com which more information about Hillary and the other systems that are currently active around the globe so please check them out that's all for today's update or well tonight's update to be more precise and see you tomorrow with more updates and more information about this system see you tomorrow <laughs>